everybody uh, we're just trying out some uh, some of our prep foods um, picked up some gravy and meatballs and some instant noodles uh, meatballs were a buck and the instant noodles were 68 cents they were on sale and uh, so we're cooking them up so I got about half a package in there and that's a good bit of noodles and I'm going to mix that with some gravy and meatballs again and it bubbles away I know it's fake meat but you know it's a cheap it's cheap food and uh, you get a lot of it so uh, I just hope that uh, it works out good and if well if I don't like it I'm sure she will <laughs> and this one too <laughs> yeah so this is uh, this is the noodles uh, that's about maybe a third of what I made and that's a good bit of food. I probably won't be able to eat it all myself. And I still got half of this left. And uh, so I could probably mix this with some herbs, or some olive oil, or whatever. So, well, yeah, it doesn't taste too bad. So, that's good food for in a situation where, you know, everything sucks, but damn, the, the food's good. <laughs> And the cats want some too, so <laughs> so they approve and I approve, so it's all good. And this is what I picked up. I picked up some gravy and meatballs and lots of instant noodles. Uh, that's about maybe, I don't know, about six dollars worth of food. And that's enough to feed well just myself probably for a month well uh, at rations and uh, yeah so so you can get a little bit find something on sale get a whole bunch you know it might only cost you like you know five bucks here a couple of dollars there right every time you go shopping just go grab one thing one extra thing even if it's a chocolate bar put that away right? and then eventually you'll have a little uh, bit of a food cache and then uh, you can get by if you have to so anyway so this is the prep closet and it's slowly very slowly growing. <laughs> and this is my guard fish. And over here we have a little box. This is just a fruit cake. Um, of course, fruit filling. Got some raisins. Got some cream of wheat. A can of tuna. This is just sort of the grab and go box. Uh, got a couple bags of granola in here. A bottle of ketchup, which is a must. If you're a ketchup fiend. And some more tuna in there. And a little lid. I'm just going to put together a little bit of a fire building kit. And uh, you know, maybe a knife or two utensils. Alrighty, and over here we've got some more granola, uh, some carrots, some salmon, some spam, uh, hot sauce. 
some more noodles, olive oil, spaghetti, uh, scalloped potato mix, some honey, some pesto to go with the noodles, spaghetti sauce, and a can of ravioli, and another can of ravioli and some beans. So. So yeah, so this little bit of food here, you know, it's good to, uh, if you ever had to go, at least you have something with you, right? It's already packed, ready to go, plus plus what's in my bug out packs, but, you know, if you got an extra few minutes, you can grab a couple of cases of food, right? And like I say, they're all ready to go, so. Okay, and in here sardines sardines are an excellent excellent prep item uh, if you look at the, the date now that th this is a s sort of a, an older pack but it's good for September 2014 and I'm sure it'll last a lot longer than that uh, got some oysters they got I don't know what expiry is in this 2014 again so the pack really good. There's another cake. <laughs> um, another great prep thing is uh, those little packages of ketchup that you get with your meals. Throw a couple in your pocket every time you go. Um, you know they just waste it anyway, so they give you extra in the bag and stuff, right? Um, noodles. Lots of noodles. Noodles and noodles and noodles. Um, some tortellinis. Uh, some, again, ravioli, beans. Uh, uh, sliced mangoes. Clam chowder. Uh, again, more olive oil. Some cereal. What's this thing? Oh, it's a uh, beef soup. I know it's all canned stuff. We got some uh, soy milk. It keeps a while too. And then as you know, maybe in about a year's time, we'll start rotating the stuff. Right? If we're still around by then. Ha ha ha. But. Anyway, so that's my start of my food preps, um, plus whatever is in my bug out bag. Uh, that's a little bit more work to get out, but anyway, so this is enough for now, and uh, I'll start getting more serious with making buckets and you know sealing them up for 20 years, kind of thing, right? But you know, I'm on a budget, and I can't do much as the rest of you is but I'm just plugging away here